So the COAP trial you probably remember is a, is a randomized controlled trial of patients with severe mitral regurgitation and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, an ejection fraction between uh, 20 and 50 percent, who have severe regurgitation despite optimal medical therapy and cardiac resynchronization therapy. And the overall trial results is that it dramatically improves the survival and re need for recurrent hospitalization for heart failure in those treated with the MitraClip versus those continued on medical therapy. So today's presentation concentrated on what's the quality of life in those two groups. And reassuringly, it showed us that those people who got a MitraClip had a much better improvement in quality of life as measured by standard functional status scores as well as symptoms than those who continued on medical therapy. You know, but that's a difficult question to answer because, of course, only the people who survive can, can fill out the quality of life form. And, of course, the people who feel better live longer. So they did a very complicated statistical approaches to try to account for that. And even so, I think the results are very convincing that it does improve quality of life in carefully selected patients. Were you surprised by these results? You know, I'm not surprised. I think it's the re reducing hospitalization, but I think the real key here, the real problem I think we're gonna face as we go into clinical practice is how do you select patients? So we need to look really carefully at who was enrolled in the COAP trial. So these were patients who had a low ejection fraction, severe mitral regurgitation that persisted despite being on optimal therapy. And that can be hard to achieve. You know, it takes time and effort to titrate doses of heart failure medicines to really ensure the patient's on the right medicines. And many patients will improve at that point and will no longer have severe MR. Uh, another subset of patients who do cardiac resynchronization therapy and they f improve further in their mitral regurgitation. So you're left then with a group of patients who didn't respond to all those conventional therapies. The next step then in those patients is you have to look really carefully at the anatomy of the valve with 3D echo and the imaging expert and the interventionalist have to sit down together and say, is this valve amenable to this procedure? Will the mitral clip reduce the mitral regurgitation? And is the patient too high risk to undergo a, a surgical approach? And so then that's the group of patients who are gonna benefit. So I think if we really are careful in our patient selection, we can improve the quality of life and improve, improve the length of life too in some of our patients with heart failure and severe regurgitation.